What's up guys, it's Peak Octane, and you may have seen some of my videos lately where I've been going over uh, the NCAA college football mod for, uh, specifically for Madden 20 in my videos, but it also applies for uh, Madden 19 uh, as well as Madden 21 on PC. Unfortunately, you can't mod uh, consoles very well, so this is strictly just a PC thing. But uh, today, I figured why not show you guys how I am personally uh, doing my mods and how I upload and Im well how I import my mods uh, into the game uh, that way uh, if you guys uh, happen to have a game and you want to give modding a shot uh, you can you can go ahead and try it yourself so let's get into it So one of the first things you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go over the Frosty Tool Suite and you're going to have to download the Mod Manager. Now if you do have something like uh, Adobe products and everything and you want to make your own uh, jerseys, uh, helmets, gloves, whatever, uh, you can go ahead and download the editor. Uh, I don't have any of those Adobe products so I don't do um, all that stuff. All you need to do is download the uh, mod manager, and uh, that'll that that's the key part to being able to do this. Obviously, other than owning the game itself. So then, once you're done downloading it, you will open up the mod manager, and as you can see, I've already done it. But what you'll do is you'll click new. You will have to go to your C drive, program files. Uh, Origin games is typically where your games are under. Now this does apply to all Maddens on PC, whether that be Madden 19, 20, or 21. Um, I'm not 100% sure uh, what the file path is for uh, Madden 21 if you have it through Steam. But if you still have that through Origin Games, it would show up in another folder right here. Um, but uh, nonetheless, uh, I, I uninstalled Madden 19, which is why you don't see the file. But uh, with Madden 20, you have to make sure that you do the actual application. If you do the trial file, it will not work. So you have to do uh, the actual application itself, the full game in itself for the uh, modding to actually work. Now I'm going to click cancel but typically you would click open if you haven't done this already. I've already done it so I'm going to click cancel. Um, but then you'll open up your game. Click select. Now I have all these mods listed. This will be blank when you first open up uh, your configuration which is perfectly fine um, because what you'll end up having to do is import mods. Now, these mods are not something that are saved in Frosty Mod Manager. This is something you have to go get. So, my favorite place to go for mods is Discord. Uh, typically for my videos that you've seen of the NCAA tournament, if you've happened to seen those videos, is the D105. Uh, football mod group uh, they they post all their links like you can see their beta version here 1.44a um, version 1.1 and this is the full version at this point 1.1 1.2 1.3 then um, you have uh, 1.4 which is their last one for men 20 um, and I know they're currently working on men 21 but they don't have a uh, full version out for that yet, which is fine. Um, you can also go to the Madden, Madden Modding Community Discord and you will find um, texture files, texture modding, playbook modding, uh, franchise modding uh, starting today. So they're actually still support, some people are still going through and supporting this on Madden 20 just because of how badly Madden 21 is being received. Uh, by consumers. Completely understand. That's why I don't have Madden 21. Uh, and uh, 
you, you can see accurate as of date on uh, a lot of these mods they'll they'll include that in there um these guys put a ton of effort into this draft class generators yeah there will be madden 21 downloads once those are available for gameplay mods college football you even got a whole thing for modding tools uh, rosters and draft classes you, you can find a ton of stuff and here's the d105 page again um, within the madden mod madden modding community and then there's also the other college football mod um, which has less teams but it's more detailed and in-depth in terms of player uh, equipment helmets likeliness and all that sort of fun stuff numbers rosters um, all that sort of stuff so you would download these uh well these are bit files but say for the d105 college mod which is what i use so typically what you would do to get these files is you would download the zip extract the files and when you open them up you will see rosters franchise files um this fb mod file that you will see um is the main one that you are going to be looking for uh in regards to the file that you're actually going to import into uh the mod manager so you would import click on that you would click open i've already done it so i'm going to click cancel but you would click open and it will show up over here now what you will end up doing is say I want to apply this XFL 2K20 mod to be able to play as XFL team. I will click on the mod over in this available mod section. I will click apply mods and it will show up over here. Now what you want to be careful with is the mod that is checked that is high highest rated is what will be the priority loading. So, um, if I were to put the XFL over the D105, the XFL should load. Now, it might get complicated if you try and load two mods at the same time. I do not recommend because I do not know what has. I do not know what happens. I have not tested that. So I do not recommend. But in theory, whatever is highest is what gets highest priority in terms of what you mod, which is why I typically leave things that I do not use unchecked when I'm opening up my mods. Now, once you have the mod that you want to apply checked, you can then go up and you can just straight up click launch and it will take care of the rest for you. Now, the very first time that you click launch, it might take some time, especially if the mod is a pretty good size. Uh, but uh, and, and you can already see here, um, as I've opened up Madden 20, that uh, it's already, it has, it has the mod already in place. Um, and you can see the differences between normal Madden 20, college football Madden 20 with the uh, D105 mod. So it's, it's really just as simple as that. Um, I hope it was simple enough. If you have any questions, Drop those below in the comments. Um, I'll leave a link to the Frosty Tool Suite. Um, that way you can find where the download is for the Frosty Mod Manager. And uh, that'll get you to a point to where you, you can start playing modded too. Um, hopefully have a little bit more fun with the game if you still play. Or uh, if you want to get back into it and just have a different experience with it. Um, so with that being said, happy modding.